Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And we are going to finish up A Christmas Carol. We are actually going to finish it up and play the bonus episode because I don't think we've got a lot left. And she's a punk. And we finished Christmas past and Christmas present, and now we're in Christmas future. And I don't imagine the future episode's going to take very long because we've already been playing it for quite some time now. So we'll see. And then we'll do the bonus episode. Who knows what the bonus episode is? Last time, it was cats fighting winter wolves. So, back to the future. Ah, yes, the graveyard. Okay. Ah, oh, that was weird. That guy looks like the dude from Assassin's Creed. Weird. There's a picture in the snow. Do I still have? Oh, I still have my chisel. Okay. Or wood carving set. And this is his. Van was such a good mother to me and a good sister to Scrooge. I miss her. Oh, that's right. I'm the nephew. What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, we need. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, I thought that was something we were going to use, like, sitting there. So we need two skulls keys or something? You're going to put a secret hiding spot on your grave? That would be pretty cool. I could cut right through this. I mean, yeah. Why, though? What a tough lock. Is this the key? Why did she have the key to this in her gravestone? It's not just a lock. It's a good luck lock. Or it's a... Good luck. Ugh. Okay, whatever. And it looks as if this place was abandoned long ago. I mean, it's a cemetery. So the snow brush, a handkerchief. Can I use this to? Nope. Okay. So I guess this is the snow brush. Why is there a devil on top of that? You see Scrooge's name on the tombstone? His end is near, if his life is ruined by his own evil. You must find the sand of time to prolong your uncle's life. When you do, place it in this flask. Good luck to you. Did I say something about the phone ringing? Why did I say that? Shush. So in the original Christmas Carol, those of you who don't know, the ghost of the future, you know, Christmas future, he doesn't talk. And he's definitely not going to help you this way. I mean, if we already changed Scrooge's past and present so he's a good person, why would we need to do more than that? Stop singing, hot punk. It's bolted on there. That was a good sound effect. Why do we want a little devil? Okay, so now we have a ring that looks like it's missing a stone and a wrench. Yeah, like he's already old. What the heck? Hang on. Freaking pain in the ass. That ringer I can't turn off. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, and it's not like Scrooge is this young person and we want him to live longer. He's already old and has lived a good life at this point. I don't understand why we're trying to save him again. That's weird. Look, it's a mannequin. Oh. I should actually read what I'm supposed to be looking for. Pliers, castle, pen, candle, star, shovel, pinecone, tree, train. All right, so pliers, castle, pen, candle. Lots of keys in here. 
Lots of keys in here. The dove looks lonely. Oh. There. Now you're not lonely. He's a bird. He's a tweety bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. What am I looking for? Candle. Flyers. There's a Santa. Oh, there's a little castle. Oh, that's cute. That looks like, is it St. Peter's Cathedral in Russia? I want to say. But now I can't remember. I hate it when I second guess myself like that. Pen, star, shovel, pine cone, tree. Is that a pen? No, that's a shovel. I mean, I knew it was a shovel. I just thought maybe the pen, oh, there's the pen, it was hidden on the handle. It was a very ornate handle for a shovel. What else am I looking for? Star. That was a leaf, I think. Pine cone and a tree. Let's see. Oh, there's a tree. It's not what I was expecting. Oh, there's the pine cone. And a glowing marble. Okay. Is there anything? Yeah, there's nothing over here. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Where is the marble? That's a blue thing, so I have to do something to make it glow. No, no, this is one of those ones, because it's blue, that's one of the ones where you have to do things to, ah, see, to make it happen. There we go. That's why I only ever read the white ones, because those are the ones that everybody can see. Flyers are for the door. I don't know why a glowing marble was one of the objects and it's not something we need for the game. This is interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Arrange the angels and demons according to the color scheme etched into the wall. Move the angels and demons along their paths using the two levers, noting which lever controls which track. Touch the large angel to change all the figurines in the line in front of it to angels. Touch the large demon to change all the figurines in front of it to demons. Are these getting more complicated or is it just me? Like I don't mind necessarily, but kind of crazy. So basically I have to make angels on the outside and demons in the middle. move those oh right well I got it part way <laughs> let's see I have no plan of attack here I think that's my biggest problem like I have no idea what I should actually be doing Reset. All right, I need a plan. Let's see. I need, so this one goes this way. So I can get the angels on the outside pretty easy, but then these two get trapped there. And I don't think that's right. I think what I want to do is in the distant screaming. My kids must be playing Smash Brothers upstairs. Well, that didn't work. Okay. What did I do? Okay, so now I have it like this. I need to get these guys out of here. What if I do that now? Oh, that's really close. I have these two guys over there. How do I fix it? Can I just, uh, which one, which one? Nope, the other one. Dang, damn it. Okay. Yay, I did it. That was an interesting door. This place is stunning, even in the dark. I wish I could see better. Uh, let's see, I need a key. Ooh, an ax. There's no handle, okay. So do I have anything I can pick a lock with? No. And I need something that's a handle. All right, and I... If I find a way to break those windows, that would let light in? That's a terrible idea. All right. Uh, <laughs> I have an axe. Oh, that's to split the tree stump. Though I don't know why I need to do that. What the 
heck am I doing? Am I carving a boomerang out of a log with an axe? O-M-G. First of all, I don't think I know how to make a boomerang, as this is Russia. Or not Russia. No, this is England. I'm sorry, I was thinking of the Nutcracker. In the whatever period of time. And second, I bet I don't know how to throw a boomerang so that it comes back. Wow. Okay. Well, that was a thing we just did. Now the inside of this beautiful church is going to be destroyed by the elements. I hope we're happy. Wow, what is this? Oh, that's part of the door. This looks like part of a Latin phrase, but what's the phrase? I mean, it's a good thing I'm handy with tools. Why? Oh, it's stuck. I was, I was looking at the horses and thinking they were doing something. Unicorns, sorry. Actually, I think one's a unicorn and one's a horse with one of those mask things, but I can't tell. All right, I got the keys to the opening. It's a cool pipe organ. Now we can see over here, but that doesn't actually give us any more information. All right, let's go open the door to the cemetery. What an idyllic scene. I do love the countryside. I better look for help. Why? I could saw these off if I need some wood. I mean, I just had wood. It's stuck in the ice. What I need is a fish I can control. It's an altar of some sort, but there's no candle. Isn't that supposed to be Virgin Mary? I mean, it doesn't really look like her but not traditional depictions, anyway. There, there are a bunch of candles. Ton of them. Some of varying sizes, even. It's moonless. Will the hut open if I return all the bells? I mean, if somebody's inside, you could just bang on the door. With the right tool, I could bend the metal and get something new. Like a plier. Oh, is this so I can pick the lock? Yep. Keep going. Okay, let's go pick the lock then. Oh, and we have found one of the unicorns. Yeah, I think this is a real unicorn. This one looks like it's wearing one of those, or a unicorn with a halter. It looks like it's got one of those face protector mask things that they used in jousts. Kind of weird to have a horse mask, yeah. Kind of weird to have two unicorns fighting as the altarpiece in your church, but whatever. There's the other one. A fin. Okay. That's weird. And what's this? Oh. Okay. Oh good, we're going to make it alive. To the water, quickly! <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> it's a fishy. It's cute, fishy. I don't understand. Oh, there's something in the water. Okay. Why does it look like he's flying? He wasn't actually in the water. Look, it's that glowing marble. An ice sphere. The sphere is frosted over. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, I can't. Yeah, right, got it. That's really cool. I want one of those. Do we only need three bells, I think? Yes. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so. I did that wrong. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're, we're gonna go back to where we are in time. We are in Victorian England, in the future of Victorian England, which is not the 1950s. Uh, I assume. Dummy's quite fun, but he lacks a heart. There's nothing to pull, so I can't open the cupboard. A horn for a snack. I, th I should think an apple would taste better. I think the color's a bit off here. Oh, I need to paint that. A hand organ without a handle. The coals are so hot, they'd melt through anything. Can I take a coal? No. Seems like that would work. One lens only works for monocles. I mean, you could use it like a monocle. I guess that's all we get. Is this the handle for this? No, that would be too easy. Oh, it is. Wow. Okay. Thermometer, golden cat, compass, shell, hand organ handle, globe, and lipstick. Thermometer, golden cat, compass, and shell. There's a shell. That's a pretty shell. I... Where is that? Oh, the light came on. And off. And on. And off. And on. Sorry. No, I'm not. I think we found that crystal globe in every find it puzzle. Here's the lipstick. Can I open all the drawers? Nice. Hey, the mousy. And the mouse trap. And bell. Uh, what else am I looking for? Oh, a golden cat. There's the golden cat. And a compass, though they never tell you which kind of compass. Yep, the other kind of compass than I was thinking of. There's the organ handle. A pawn. Okay, they're definitely getting more creative. I appreciate that. Ah, uh, just some of the stuff they do doesn't make sense. Aw, I wanted to listen to it. Must everything be broken? I better find that gear. Santa's coat without the hat to match is just wrong. What is this? A swan figure. Did I need a swan figure? Okay, we got a cup. There was a swan on the bridge. Oh, you're right! I'm staring right at it. And there's the gear for some reason. Fresh water. Oh, I guess I'm going to heat the water up and use the water to melt the ice. I suppose that's probably safer. Could put a coal in the cup, though. That would work. Because if the metal cup is full of boiling water, you're still going to burn yourself. That's how thermodynamics works. And this must be the handle for the church drawer. What is that? Stardust, is that the stuff I'm looking for? No, I guess not. Yeah, no, metal cups conduct, conduct heat really well, which is good if that's what you want to have happen. If that's not what you want to have happen, it's not good. Oh, this must be that Latin phrase from that other puzzle. We 
which I am super failing to put together. Wait, I didn't see what it said. It said Tempest something or other. Tempest Tantum Nostrum S. Time... I don't know what Tantum is. Nostrum is night, I think, isn't it? Weird. Okay, so... Oh, it's one of these which order does things need to be in. So the first thing is first. So that's Temp. Ten, rather. Okay. And then the next thing needs to be the last bit. Only time is ours. Okay. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, what's the last thing? EST. EST. Okay. And then what? I think I need to reset it. I can't see it with that stuff in the way. All right, let's see. So, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots. And the first spot is the first one. The last spot is the second one. And then the next is third. And then fourth is second. And fifth is third. Fifth is six and seven. Okay, let's see if I got this right. So we start with... The first one, which is temp. Where'd temp go? Oh, there it is. Okay. And then we do seven, which is est. That one. And then six, which is rum or trum. Tum? No, trum or rum. Rum. Okay. And then nost. No. Then pus. And then tan, and then nost, and then tum. Yay, I did it! Haha, I'm getting good at those. Okay. You'll get the sand of time over my dead body, better yet. Try getting it away from poverty and ignorance! <laughs> An unhappy pair are we. I didn't think they'd make it into this game. Poverty and ignorance are ghost children who seek maternal love. Only the power of good can dispel them. Your mother, Fan was the kindest of women. Her spirit will help you. Call her forth with a never-ending candle. Ignite it with the light of love. Then place it on her memorial and sprinkle her statue with stardust. Where did he think we were- ah! <clears throat> Sorry, sorry. I just knocked over my microphone. Nothing big, nothing big. That's, that's fine. I need to get a desk mount for my microphone. <laughs> okay, this is incredible. I can call forth my mother's ghost and she'll remove want and ignorance from the basilica door. All I need is a candle and stardust placed on her memorial. Yes, that statue is in fact our mother, which is why she did not look like Virgin Mary because she isn't Virgin Mary, she's our mother. And that's creepy. These ghost children will only respond to the ghost of my mother, Fan. This is so not in the original story. <laughs> I feel like it too, yes, I agree. But then there's unicorns at the altar, so who knows? Maybe it's a fey church. I don't have a candle, do I? The fire of love. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, where do I get a candle? What do I- oh, I have the moon. That goes on the cellar door. What is that supposed to be? There must be something really imprecious inside if the box is locked. I don't know, we've found some really dumb things in locked boxes before. And this is a drill with a saw. That looks like a drill handle, not a saw handle. Huh. Okay, we did find the paint, though. Do people worship my mom because she was nice? This puzzle is very tiny. Um. Oh, 
Oh! I see. I was confused as to how I was going to paint the tiny little... No. Oh. I was confused as to how I was going to paint the tiny little painting. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. Though I think she did die in childbirth, didn't she? As the ghost said, I should power the candle with a special flame. You already lit it, you bozo. Okay, we turned the candle flames blue with incense. Interesting. And now we found stardust in the church. What's that going to do? I'm so proud of the kind and honorable man you've become. But there is a little more to be done to fix your poor uncle's life. I'll help you. Let's put our mom ghost in our pocket. My lovely mother, it's so strange and wondrous to see her spirit. No, that's creepy AF. Good will win out. That's it. My mother's kindness turned wanton ingrid ignorance to the side of good. <laughs> she continues to do good things even in her afterlife. I don't think the concepts of ignorance and want are things that can be on the side of good. <laughs> All right, what's in here? Ah, how I hate good! Oh no, it's a giant scary man. Wait, why did he jump through the ceiling? Oh no, Evil Scrooge animated that warrior knight. He'll guard the sand of time. I thought the sand of time was in here. Oh, you're right, it's the cats. I'm sorry, I was too busy with the warrior knight who jumped through the ceiling. Well, Jiminy Christmas. It's the famed warrior cats, but what is missing its helmet? They are not famous. Oh, I don't know what we need this for, but now we have it. I recognize you. You're one of the legendary warrior cats, but don't you usually wear glasses? Oh no, they're alive. <laughs> How sweet of you to give your shield to me and some rope. There's no way I can climb up there. Why would I want to climb up there? I could knock that down with an arrow. Okay. Oh, and you're missing your hat. Right. I knew that. The cats are a thing through this whole series. You don't even know. Wait, isn't that your shield? What am I supposed to get you? Oh, okay. I guess you don't want a shield. Where did the shield go? Not in here. Oh, I have a wrench. I forgot. I'm not used to getting actual tools that I need at the beginning of these games. Hat and a steel disc. Oh, and this is missing its horn, which I need to get from the boar who wants an apple. Right. Oh wait, is this for this? That does not look like a real thing. That looks like something they made that's a cross between a buzzsaw and a drill. Also, I have no idea why I need wood. Why do I need wood? Am I making a ladder? I made a ladder. Yes! Yeah, yeah, I love it when you can do stuff that makes sense in reality instead of- Oh, the shield goes over here. Instead of, you know, not- No, that's not the right shield. You need an apple. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Where do I need a ladder? Oh, to get to the roof. I don't know why I need to go on the roof. 
Yikes, he's bigger than I thought. Why is there an apple on the roof? There's a penguin. And how do I know the sand of time is up here? Well, I know what to do, so let's do it. Now you look like a stuffed pig. That's kind of messed up. All right, warrior cat hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we brought them to life. Aw, he's giving me his crossbow and a stone hand. Why do you even have that? Oh, they absolutely are. Er, really? That is a stone floor. Okay. Chessboard X, saber, boot, basket, cat, scroll, music stand, Santa hat, and a loot. There's a loot. There's an elephant. Wait, where does the elephant need to go? Is there more elephants? Oh, there they are! Aw, so cute! Alright, uh, there's a violin and a checkerboard. Chessboard, fine. An X, a saber, a boot, and a basket. There's a Gryffindor tie. I guess it was a saber. What am I looking for? X, boot, basket, cat. X, boot, what's that? Teddy bear. There's a kitty cat. I'm playing this stuff with this this playing this level with this stuff this small reminds me of Mystery Case Files game we were playing, where everything's super tiny because my screen is so small. Uh, I don't remember what I'm looking for again. X boot basket scroll music stand. Music stand. There's an hourglass. I keep seeing things. There's a basket that I don't need. And a Santa hat. Oh yeah, that's the whole reason we were here was the Santa hat. Where's the Santa hat? X boot scroll Santa hat. X boot scroll. We just destroyed this church. Why can't I find any of the things? Oh, there's a scroll. I went over, right over that last time. It's an umbrella. Why is his eye glowing? That's creepy. What am I looking for? X boot Santa hat. I do not see the Santa hat anywhere. You would think you'd be able to see the Santa hat as it's Santa colored. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it was locked away behind an angels and devils gate. So who knows? What am I looking for? An X. Oh, there's the X. And a boot and a Santa hat. How am I not seeing the Santa hat? It must not be the right color. There's a dragon and a star. And a bottle. I've seen that bottle like eight times. I'm not looking where it is. Oh, there's the, uh, there's a bell. An eagle. That's a creepy Santa figure thing. All right, where's one of these two things? OMG! I hate it when they do that! And where's the dang boot? Stupid game. Make me look stupid. Boot. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's leave the sort of animated warrior cats to their prison, I guess. All right, now you get a shield? No. You just need a belt buckle? Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Give the mannequin his Santa hat in Victorian England. What is this? That's the belt buckle! I mean, I guess inside a jukebox is a good place to hide a belt buckle. Oh, now he gets to be the guy from Assassin's Creed. Evil Scrooge is powerful, and he is disguised as a dark knight. You must find me a special weapon for the final battle with evil. Okay, do you want the shield? All right, good. I didn't want to carry that around with me anymore. That's the special weapon? That looks like a bad guy sword. We must fight for good! Okay. 
I'll put you in my pocket and we can go right up to the roof of the church that worships unicorns and my mom. This makes perfect sense. Oh boy, cinematic. Wait, did I kill bad Scrooge? I guess you get to stay there now. One shouldn't handle the sand of time. I need a vessel. You're just gonna take some of it and leave the rest on the roof, huh? Okay. I love the way they do that warp. Wait, who's this guy? No, not you. This, these, this must be one of the daughters and her husband and their kids. But who's that dude? Oh, that's the other daughter. Scrooge's life has been rewritten. With your help, he married Belle and helped save Tiny Tim's life. He had the chance to fix his evil past. Good has won out, as always. So you're not actually gonna tell us who those people were. We're just supposed to be happy that we beat the game. Very weird. <laughs> oh man, listening to Neil Gaiman read a Christmas carol? That sounds amazing. Oh, I forgot Tim Curry did one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it when people with like amazing voices do audiobooks, even if that's like not their normal thing. The the guy, oh, why can I not think of his name? The guy who played Gollum in Lord of the Rings read the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit. Or both. Now I don't remember. Andy Sir, Sir uh, Come on, Brain, you got this. Was Andy Circus? Circus? Him. He read them and it's amazing. So you should read or listen to that too. And that was a Christmas carol, according to Elephant Games. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see what the extra uh bonus chapter is. I gotta say, these games... Oh yeah? Nice. Yeah, Ot Punk knows a lot about pro Poirot. Nope. I can't talk today, so I'm gonna make everything sound terrible. Poirot books. Congratulations, you have completed the main game. Now you may play the bonus chapter. You can find it in the bonus content section of the main menu. Okay. Let's see. Bonus content. Let's see what we got here. Wallpaper. Oh dear, there's the cats. That's the spirit of Christmas present. I mean, past, present, and future. And there's weird evil Scrooge, who I assume is dead now. There's regular Scrooge. I went through these once already. This explains the warrior statues. There's good Scrooge. Here's all the kitty cats! Yeah, you're an audiobook connoisseur these days, aren't you? Of course there's new cats. Let's see, concept art. Okay, this is at least actual con concept art. Yes, you did. She had a terrible job, but she got to listen to audiobooks. And it only put her in the hospital once. It was a desk job, in case you were curious. All right, and then the music and the screensaver. Collectibles. We found almost none of the penguins. Good to know. And we got almost no achievements. <laughs> I don't care. All right, let's do the bonus episode. Is everyone ready? Here we go. Tim. 
I know you love a good fairy tale, but tonight I'm going to tell you a true story. You know cats as our pets, the cuddly little creatures we keep as companions around the house. But at Christmas time, you get to see the secret lives they lead in their own world. Listen to this. How wonderful. I get to explore the world of cats. Aren't you excited, Hot Punk? Wait, why is that there? Meow. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Cat. <laughs> I am the chief investigator in the cat world, and I've been called to the scene of an impending disaster. Oh no. <laughs> Cat Christmas has been cancelled. It seems all's fine on the human front, but Santa Cat has disappeared. Please talk to witnesses. Look for evidence. Here, take this magnifying glass. You simply can't investigate without it. I'm dying. <laughs> Wait, is there an act? Yeah, I got that. Shut up. Is there actually stuff I need to look at down here? No, okay. What? Use the magnifying glass. Oh, I got that. Thank you. Shut up. Well, it says 42. It's a paw print. I have to find its match close by. Why? This won't work without a code. I mean, that's our uncle's house. Can't we just go in? Aha! Ah, this looks like a match. I'll lift it using some tape. That is a cool door knocker. And it's a wild erdite. And he's gone. This is a cool door knocker. Um, I, I, I don't understand what's going on, but... Let's see. The case of the missing Santa cat evidence journal. Date of disappearance. Last Christmas. Jeez. Evidence at the scene. It doesn't appear that Santa wore gloves as his paw prints can be used to track his movements. Notes. Return evidence to Sherlock Cat once gathered. I've got to find you Santa Cat. Oh boy. There's a wreath missing. Isn't it the one on the ground? Like right here. That one. No, huh? All right. Oh, that was that. This is the cat thing. There's another wreath. There's a doggy. To get to the side street, I need to cut the wire. Well, that's not a thing I can do right now. Oh, is this the code? 42. Ta-da! Again, it's my uncle's house. I could probably just go in. Wow, his basement needs cleaning. Jeez. Book, fan, holly wreath, film, mask, saxophone, umbrella, hammer, lantern. So let's see. Book, fan, holly wreath. There's a Christmas tree and a star. Pay attention. Saxophone. Okay. Book, fan, holly wreath. Is that part of the piano? No, I guess not. What else do I need? Atlas, statue, pair of boots, and a smiley face. Huh. I don't know how that... Oh, I have this! And this too! This this is my nativity set. It's by Willow Tree. That's Joseph, and that's Mary with baby Jesus, and then there's a donkey and two sheep and a shepherd. And there's actually an expansion pack, which is probably not the right term, which is the wise men, and that comes with a camel and shut up and the three wise men and then there's a shepherd's pack and it has little black sheep and another shepherd and i thought something else but now i can't think of what it is is it another donkey now i don't remember but and the, these are the stars that go up, up behind it and it's really cute i have to set it up because i haven't done that yet i don't even have my tree up yet i Completely lost my train of thought there. Book fan holly reef film mask. Okay. Let's see. Oh, chalk. I thought it was a piano key. There we go. 
Gum reel. Uh, candy cracker. Mask. Book. What is that? Looks like a pine cone, I think. There's a train and a duck. That's kind of cool. And another duck. And a mandolin and a globe. Oh, where's Atlas? We're supposed to find Atlas. Where is him? Oh, there he is in part of the nativity. Sure. Okay. Fan, holly wreath, umbrella. Wait, I saw the umbrella like four times. Lantern and a hammer. What is this supposed to be? A pair of boots. Oh, there's one boot. Where's the other one? That didn't look like a holly wreath. That looked like a regular wreath. There's a fan. A hammer and a lantern and a, I need the other boot. There's the other boot. There we go. I thought I was trying to hang something on whatever this is. A hammer and a lantern. There's a lantern. That's a lantern. Hmm. It's totally a lantern. That's also a lantern, but this is in fact a lantern. And a hammer. It's a lantern. Look, see, it's got the little handle and stuff. Where is the hammer? That's a xylophone hammer. It looks like a lantern to me. Apparently it's not, though. Wait, where's the hammer? Yeah, I figured it was, like, decorated for Christmas. I mean, look at the rest of the stuff in this picture, you know? I can't define the hammer. Yeah. Can't. Oh, wow. I completely missed that. That is not a holly wreath. That is a regular wreath. It's pretty, but it's still just a regular wreath. And there was a cat in striped pajamas. Paula's cat toy. I don't understand what's going on. What just happened? Why did that present disappear? I guess that this is an amazing lock. I wonder if we get to actually meet the Cheshire Cat in this game because he comes up in other games. Look at this. Scrooge has a twin in the cat world. Wait, we're not in the regular world? This is the cat world? That's not what I thought they meant. My name is Scrooge Cat. Yes, that's quite right. The very Scrooge Cat you so rudely awakened with a horn. Oh, no matter. I've already forgiven you. Thanks for the milk, by the way. So you're looking for Santa Cat, hey? I'd be inclined to give you information pertaining to his whereabouts if you help me out first. It's my neighbor, Mortimer Mouse. We had a fight, and I don't know how to patch things up with him. That's not the direction I thought that was going in. I guess this is his house. Mortimer's probably asleep. I'll have to wake him up. I don't know. Mice are usually active at night. Oh, I found a dog. Oh, okay. I need three doggies. More paw prints. I'm locked out of the kitchen. Why does this cat have human pictures everywhere if this is cat world? Hmm, it appears this drum was used in a crime? Oh, wrong thing. That's what I was going for. Stop it! No? Alright. Oh, that's what I was supposed to look for. Another present with a weird paw print on it. And... I don't understand what's happening. The upper floor is closed, or at least it's what the cats want me to think. Right. Why would someone steal puzzle pieces? Why would anyone in this universe do any of this stuff? What a weird puzzle. Kind of cool, though. Santa on a donkey. I guess this is the door knocker for this house. Scrooge the cat offended me by saying that cats are better than mice. Forgiveness in exchange for some cheese. Forgiveness. 
This is so weird. Blank business card and a candle and a cane. I don't know what I'm supposed to do over there if it... Ah! Sorry, I clicked off. If I'm not supposed to use this. Right. I don't understand. Oh, there's the doggy tokens. I'm going to do that over here. All right, so I assume... Oh, I hate this game. Um, oh, I can go backwards. Oh, good. Okay. So that's slightly less terrible. I've only successfully done this game on the first try once, but it was on stream, so I was very proud of myself. Ta-da! That, that was way easier than it normally is. So we have a wire cutter and a brush. Wire cutter? I don't understand what's going on over there. And why I need a brush or a candle. I don't know. Wire cutter is over here. That I knew. Okay. Okay, you didn't need to do the side ones, but that's fine. What happened here? A blizzard? An avalanche? The work of a cat coven? What? <laughs> I'm already too cold. I need a shovel for this. That makes sense. Decoration is missing. Another paw print. Is this one I need tape for? Yes. A little explosion makes everything better? What is going on in this game? Oh, 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 oh. Wait, where, where did you leave off? No, 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 go back. Where, where, where did you leave off? The puzzle with the dogs. Yes? Yeah, okay. So we, we got some stuff. I... I opened up the gate, and now we're here. And the flavor text I got when I came over here is, What happened here? A blizzard? A uh, avalanche? A cat coven? Those were the three choices. Then I got over here. <laughs> oh, you heard me. And then we're apparently going to blow up this pile of snow. I don't know. Hey, you. Yes, you. Listen, I'm in a pickle. I couldn't resist the tempting delights in the store, you see. And while I was sandwiched between all that food, feasting to my heart's content, a blizzard blew in. The gates in a- Oops. Sorry. She's stuck. I have to thaw the gates. Oh, my. Goodness. I need to get past this cart. There's another present. Matches. I guess the candles are for the candle holder, and the matches are to light the candles, and the candles are to melt the ice. There's certainly weird presents. The key was kind of cool. I wouldn't mind getting a key like that for a present. She's still stuck. I need leverage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A million times, thank you. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a cure for a stomach ache, would you? I think I overdid it. Should I be upset that the first... Oh, no, the first girl cat was the spell-making one. I'm wrong. Oh, I didn't realize this was going to bring me someplace. Oh, another paw print. This is so weird. One, ten, one hundred. I've heard of counting crows, but counting cats? 
Oh, 315. I wasn't paying attention. Wait, how am I going to do 315? There's only four cats up here. I guess I need another cat. Wait, I saw something that was a hand. Well, yeah, I know, but there's, there's, there's one, one, two, three, four, five, ten, one, three. There's only four cats up there. I can't do five. Yeah, that's why I was confused. I thought I saw a hand up there, but I guess not. The birdie's looking for her fledgling. Okay. Protecting the counter with a wire is a good idea if your only unwelcome guest is a cat. That's fair. But I guess anthropomorphic cats could probably do the same thing I'm doing, so. Key, hook, clove of garlic, tomato times two, mask, gem heart times two, cheese with holes, treble clef, clef, coins, cupcake, dagger, egg. Look, look at this. Do you remember in the Halloween one, there was a weird piece of food and we couldn't figure out what the heck it was because it was behind stuff, but it looked like not a food. That's what this was. It's like a chicken leg and thigh, except it looks like somebody made one out of chicken and shaped it like that. It doesn't actually look like that's what it's supposed to look like. You <laughs> still want to eat it. I mean, cartoon food is the best food. Never quite figured that out, but it is true. A tea strainer. Key hook, tomato, and a mask. There's a mask. There's a treble clef. There's a key. Ooh, that looks good. Actually, all of this looks good. There's a hook. What else am I looking for? Coins and an egg. Coins. That's not coins. That's pieces of salami. Salami sounds good right now, too. I didn't eat dinner yet. I'm looking for coins. Coins. I wonder if they're chocolate coins. Oh, I saw the cupcake. Cupcake needs frosting. All cupcakes need frosting. That should be a rule. That's a pair of symbols. They're part of a police investigation, too. What? Oh, I already clicked on that. We're both bad at eating. I mean, it's only 5.30. This needs a cherry on top. Right? Right? Because cakes always have cherries on top. Looks like the 10th anniversary cake, and it certainly has something to do with elephants. Oh, it must be Elephant Games' 10th anniversary when they're doing this. That's cute. With pink frosting. Exactly. All right. Oh, well, we got cheese. He won't know it's from Scrooge Cat without a written apology. Okay. So then I guess this... Wait, stop it. You go there. You go there. And you go there? That's not the type of brush you use for that. That would be really hard to write with. Really? Really, really? Oi. That is a big mouse. Just like old friends they are, it feels good to help them. Why, isn't that nice? Thanks for your help. Now about Santa Cat. I haven't seen him since last Christmas. He mentioned once he'd nearly been trapped in a chimney. Oh no, has Santa Cat been trapped in a chimney since last Christmas? Scrooge Cat. Scrooge Cat claims he hasn't seen Santa since last Christmas. Scrooge believes Santa might have been caught by humans when trying to access their world via chimney. I didn't know that was a thing. The witness does not appear suspicious and exhibits a genuine worry regarding Santa Cat's disappearance. This is very weird. They have really cool doorknobs in this game. And here we are in the kitchen. Oh no, it's that stove. <laughs> hey, 
I'm freezing. Would you be so kind as to uh, light my fire? Why is there a statue? Oh, that's, I know. I feel naked without my on button. Those mischievous cats took it. Can you find it for me? This oven is so freaky. Oh my gosh. A sewing machine. The handle is missing. Okay. It's a festive scratching post, but it's missing the antler. There must be medicine there, but it's locked. Just what I expected. Yeah, no, I'll have to agree with that. This guitar is the subject of an ongoing police investigation. What is happening? This game is so weird. Wait, where's the cats? The cats are over here. There we go. And the antler was in there. Of course it was. That's adorable. Okay, you're almost a Rudolph except for one thing. I didn't know he was supposed to be Rudolph. Okay, oh, a cherry. That's for the cake. Yes, it is. Right, it still needs oh this then it needs a strawberry oh okay I am very confused by this game now what am I supposed to do what's the handle for oh the sewing machine okay I don't think that's the kind of handle that goes on a sewing machine yeah no this is the wheel that spins the sewing machine there's no thread did I find thread no, I did find a Paulus cat, though, because that's a thing. Now we can put the strawberry on the cake. Wait, oh, there it is. And now we have all of those. Okay. Very weird. What is this? Turn over the tiles to reveal an object. Choose the paddles from the rotating. S Wait, what? Choose the paddles from the rotating circles in each corner to try and match the object. The objects will shuffle after each round. Wow, those directions don't make any sense. Ah, uh, is a bow. What? Well, that's a present. And that's a bird. And that's skis. And that's a present. Okay. I get it, but I don't get it. That's a sled. Skis, a bird, a bow, a skate, Christmas tree, bow, sled, a sled, no, a bird, skis, 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 that's an ornament. That's the ice skate. And I'm an idiot. That's the ice skate. There we go. A very weird locking mechanism. And I got stomach ache medication. Well, you've outdone yourself this time. What generosity. So, here's what I know about that Santa cat. The last time I saw him, he was behaving oddly, and he stole my catnip. The thief! Let me know when you find him. Santa stole something from her? I'm just gonna stand there in the cold? Okay. Sweet Tooth Cat appears to bear a grudge against Santa, whom she claims stole her catnip. Keep watch on her, she might have a motive. Did Santa Cat really steal catnip? Why? I don't know. Oh, look, we get to blow something up now. Are you there, Otpunk? 
Here we go. Oh, you, you missed it then. See, 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 see. The sweet tooth cat, she, uh, she said Santa Cat stole her catnip, so she might be a suspect. Wait, where did this... Oh, I already put it down. <laughs> Here we go. This is brilliant idea. And that's totally how that would go. It would just make the snow disappear in a puff of smoke. Forget elves. This is Santa's toy maker. Okay. Oh, hello there. Have you brought toys for all the good little kittens? No? Well, that's a shame. I've got so much to do here, and on top of that, some mean little gremlins stole from me this morning. If you're just going to stand there, you might as well search around for my tools. Christmas is coming. Okay. This is so weird. Oh, look! It's the cat present. Is that a peacock feather? Yes. I mean, that's not actually what a peacock feather looks like, but it looks like a pretend peacock feather. It's coming apart. I better fix it first. Oh, it's a kitty! I don't, don't wake up the sweet kitty. I just need the buttons. Yes, no, don't wake the kitty. That must be the stove knob. Do I have scissors or anything? I don't think so. Nope. Oh, you cute kitty. Ooh, it's a kitty castle. Snow cat guide. Okay. That's locked. Santa left paw prints all over everything. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this stupid tape. I don't think Santa left paw prints all over everything. I think that was somebody else who stole Santa. And you guys are just now starting to look for him a year later. So good job on that. Uh, let's go back to the kitchen and put the knob on the stove. And now she has an elephant inside her. How is that a thing? Elephant. Oh, there's Rudolph's nose and a knife. It looks like a butter knife, but I guess it's better than nothing. This makes zero sense. Zero sense, all of the zeros. Look at that cute little turtle! Aw, oh, it's a ring box. That's even cuter. Alright, glasses, mousetrap, molding clay, slipper, spoon, wheel, candle, lemon, screw. I know, isn't it adorable? There's a mousetrap. Uh, spoon? Bell. What do I need bell for? Complete picture and bells. Where are the bells? Oh, I see the other part of the picture. Or at least one part of the picture. What am I looking for? Glasses, molding clay, slipper. There's his mouse. Glasses, molding clay, slipper. Ooh, candy. <gasps> you did? Is it as cute as it looks in the game? There's a molding clay. There's a screw. There's a domino. Oh, I want it. I'll have to put the link in the description. What am I looking for? Glasses, slipper, wheel, candle. Glass. Oh, there's the other bell. Where was the first one? There it is. It's a weird cat. Glasses. I don't see it anywhere. This is a weird thing, too. There's a kitty in there. So cute. Oh, there's the glasses. And a slipper wheel and a candle. Strange. I am not looking for things. There's a penguin. I thought that was a rocket ship for a second. Okay, focus, focus. We can do this. Slipper, wheel, candle, lemon. Lemon is right there. All right, so now we need a slipper and a wheel and a candle. Slipper. A wheel and a candle. There's a candle. I saw that like eight times too. And actually, I need the other part of that picture too. Is this it? Yes. 
Okay. So now I just need a wheel and a slipper. Is that the slipper? Yes. Good. And the wheel. Like what kind of wheel? This kind of wheel. The giant wheel in the foreground here. Mm-hmm. Good job, me. <sighs> What's this? A snow cat? Well, I suppose that only makes sense. I guess it makes sense that cats would make snow cats, not snowmen. But I'll need a painting guide for this. You're gonna paint the snowman. I guess we are. Where's the color? The guide shows two. And we need a paintbrush. Oh, I guess not. Okay. I don't remember this latch here. Moreover, it's stuck. I remember some kind of latch there because we couldn't get in initially. Oh, there's the black paw print box. And a pretzel! And this is Cratchit's house. Little kitten, I'll play the flute to let you know you can let me in when I return. Love, mother. Are we really gonna fake out a little kid cat? I'll have to play a flute to convince him it's all right to let me in. Oh boy, that's kind of creepy. That's a fancy lock. Yes, it is. Right, well, we know where the pretzel goes. The pretzel goes in the restaurant on the table. And there's orange paint in there. Sure, why not? Do I need anything else in here? Oh, the birdies. Oh, I only got two, okay. We are a criminal. We're literally gonna trick this little kid into letting us in his house. That's messed up. What else did I need to do in here? Did I get thread? I didn't get thread. No. Oh. I'm gonna go over here. Over here, I know I had something to give you. What was it? Maybe? Wasn't there something I needed a knife for? Yes! Just need the buttons. I don't know why we need the buttons, but now we have them. And we need to fix this with tape? No. That'd be easy. And we need a cat key for that. Looks like a meerkat. Oh, it's a gopher. I think it's a meerkat, but that's okay. All right, back over here. And we have the paint and the paintbrush. We do, actually. Thank you. Aw, oh, we don't get to do it. Lame. That is adorable, but it looks like it's made out of frosting. And I would want to eat it. Why is it alive? And it wants a mouse. He's dreaming of a mouse toy. Right. That's not creepy or anything. I mean, it's bad enough there's real cats. Snow cats. Why, and... that's perfectly helpful. Thanks. The kittens will get their toys after all. If you find Santa Cat, give him a piece of my mind. He says he's too poops to play toy maker. <laughs> How fat lot that jolly old elf knows about Christmas duty. Well, excuse you. Toymaker Cat seems to think Santa has shirked his duty to Christmas. He claims Santa Cat said he was too tired to make toys this year. Can the Toymaker's testimony be trusted? This is very weird. All right, well... Let's see what awaits us in the next area. <laughs> the lake has iced over. Yes, that's what lakes do in the winter. It won't work without all the pieces. Okay. The xylophone was involved in a crime. What is going on? Hi. I hear you're looking for Santa Cat. I can tell you what I know if you do me a favor first. Keep this under your hat, as I can't let my customers know, but you see, I'm a vegetarian. I know, it's odd, me being a butcher and all, but no one will pay you butcher's wages to cut carrots. I'm starving here, and my shift won't end for hours. Could you bring me a little cabbage? This just gets 
weirder and weirder and weirder. Sure, we can bring you a cabbage, vegetarian cat. Oh, there's the mere cat, and that looks like a jumping mouse and a hamster, which is adorable. And now we have glue. Oh, glue must be to fix that little mouse at the toy shop. Yep. We fixed it! It's so cute. It looks like a, real, like a computer mouse, kind of. And then we give it to the live snowman cat. And he gives us an ice drill. Now he's dreaming of a fish. What is going on? <laughs> and that metal bird just floated to the surface. Ooh, there's a fish. I do not have a fishing rod though. I don't know. Why is any of this happening? Why? Okay, well, now we have all the birds. Let's go do that. Every action I take just causes something weirder to happen. Oh, okay. I understand. So we go over here. And we dropped a berry. Oh, the hell you say? Feed the birds with a pellet that matches its eye color. Score 10 points for each correct feeding. Try for 50 total. At each level, the pellet drops and the eye color moves one step to the left across the row of birds. At the third level, two birds switch places. Don't forget the third drop. Nope. Nope. Bye bye, birdie. Not a thing that's happening. Oh, I guess I have to assemble it myself. That's not the top. I mean, the end. There we go. And then I have a fishing reel. Ooh, it even has a lure. Nice. I, I, I... Why do I hear dogs in the background? I think that was in the last part. I got a fish. It's goldfish. Uh... Now it's a good source of water. Very, very cold water. And the snow cat had some cabbage. And now it wants a kitty with paws. We, we have a kitty without paws, right? Cute. The tiger wants a toy. This is so weird. All right, let's go. Yes, that's right! This is a story that Scrooge is telling to Tiny Tim and his grandchildren, and he says it's a true story. Yeah! Oh, boy, thanks. Oh, it's yummy. Oh, I feel better already. Now, about Santa Cat. He's got some real problems, that one. He once came to me looking to buy a Christmas goose, and he fell asleep in my basket by the counter. Never had that happen before. What is going on? The vegetarian butcher cat. This witness's whole life is a contradiction, but otherwise he seems to be highly reliable witness. He claims Santa Cat was so tired he fell asleep right there on the deli counter. Can a cat really subsist on cabbage alone? I don't think that's relevant. This is so weird. Yep, it's a little jumping mouse. Jumping mouse! So cute. Alright, let's go break and enter over here. It really does sound like he has drug problems. That's a lot nicer than Timey Tin's place used to be in my world. Oh, and look, the little kid cat must have hidden from us because we're a stranger going into his house! Hey, you're not my mommy, but are you nice? I'm freezing. This is my first winter and I'm not ready. Can you make me a cozy little jumpsuit? I'll tell you what I know about Santa Cat. Don't talk to strangers, little kid. Oh yeah, he was hiding under the bed. 
I was right. Because we broke into his house pretending to be his mother. Like a wolf going to eat someone. <sighs> Ooh, this looks good. Oh man, I could use some candy right now. I still haven't eaten dinner yet. <laughs> okay. Dog nail, tack times three, bull, pencil, Santa, cut cloth, clown face, bird, queen of spades. I actually ate lunch really late, so I'm not really hungry. I just, that orange is moving and staring at me funny. Sorry. I, what, three tacks, <laughs> talking a nail. I, I don't know. There's a normal orange. There's a pin. Oh, there was a pin cushion. Whoa, there's another one and another one. There's three of them. What the heck? Oh man. There's a nutcracker. I I don't like that. <laughs> candy everywhere. I could go for some candy right now. What am I looking for? Oh, there's a dog. Nail and three tacks. There's a bird. And a Santa. And a chocolate bar and a magnifying glass. Oh, there's a tack. So it's that kind of a tack. It's a tacky tack. Ha 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 that orange is creeping me out um and a bowl and a pencil and cut cloth cut cloth this okay sure a clown face and the queen of spades there's the queen there's another santa clown face is that a pencil yes a nail two tacks and a bowl and some more pins there's another tack there's the nail. There's the bull. I think that's once again the uh, Wall Street bull. He was in one of the Halloween episodes as a art asset. I wonder if they're allowed to do that. I mean, they're doing it anyway, but what am I looking for? I'm looking for a tack and a pin. I keep getting distracted by that stupid orange. Like these ones are also bothering me, but for some reason, not as much as the one up there. Every time I go by there, there's the tack. And now I just need one more pin. Where's the candy? Okay, I lied. I'm probably hungry. These are not good. Those are licorice. They look so yummy, but they are licorice. And it upsets me every single time. Oh, there's the pin. I know some people like licorice, but I do not. A triangle. What a strange thing to have locked for investigation. Everything in this game. What is this? If I fill the aquarium, will that raise the box? Why do they have a half-filled aquarium? And why don't I just reach inside to get the box? This game is so weird. All right. Uh, what do I have now? I have cloth. Oh, I have the, the hamster seal for, I guess this is a zoo? I'm not sure what this is. It was a storefront in the last part. It is a storefront that seems to have gotten destroyed by snow. Oh, I didn't realize this cat only had one arm. How do I fix it? All right, well, let's go to the sewing machine because I bet that's where we have to fix things. I know, but we're almost done. We gotta be, right? I need to outline the pattern for a jumpsuit. How am I gonna do that? Oh, I need chalk. I honestly can't tell either, but I mean, we're getting to the end of all of the things we've come across and we found all of the sections that were in the original one. Why do we still have the flute? I need to add, oh. You don't really sew stuffed animals on an actual sewing machine, you know, game. That would be incredibly difficult. Wait, isn't this one of those toys where you got a cat or a dog or something and then it had the costume of another animal on it? Do you remember those? I don't think I'm making that up. Oh, okay, so it wasn't one of those then. All right. Where do we need the cat eye key? Is that a, no, that was a rusty thing. 
Oh, that was for the toy castle. Need the little mousey. Oh, I guess we don't get the mousey. A fish amulet. Where do we need a fish amulet? Oh, for the aquarium. And this is, oh, chalk. For the, where am I over here? For the jumpsuit. Wow, you're gonna freehand an entire outfit, huh? Good for you. I I think you would need to cut that. That's not how sewing works. <laughs> that only needs a few buttons. That's not how sewing works. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go give the little kid cat his outfit. Yippee! This jumpsuit is so toasty. Thanks. Right, so the last time I saw Santa Cat, I asked him what he's going to bring me this year. And he mumbled something about kittens being too naughty, saying he was out of here for good. What is happening? Does Santa Cat really have a drug problem? Because that's what it certainly is starting to sound like. Why do I need water? Oh, for the fish tank. It's weak string. Yeah, so we just use a knife. I mean, it certainly sounds like he stole that uh, girl cat's um, catnip and went on a bender. That's what it sounds like to me. A file. I bet, despite your small size, you could help me later. Sure, why not? Is that for this? Yes. As I recall in my world, a writer lived here. Do cats have writers too? They have everything Who's else. making all that racket? First writer's block, and now this. What's that? You're looking for Santa Cat? Well, I'm looking for inspiration, buddy. Can you help with that? Get me the Book of Merlin. Whoever has it can write a masterpiece. I don't understand anything that's going on. Well, we found another package. There's one of the typewriter keys. Okay. What is over here now? Another area cordoned off. I guess I need permission to access this. What a surprise, a cat album and a dog. Oh wait, I just have that one. Mistletoe by the looks of it. And I need a puppy one. Okay, nothing on the piano this time. And we can't go out back. Nothing else in here, right? Okay. Uh, I remember needing that decoration for something. Yes. <laughs> sure. This game is so weird. And then a live doll. Why not? And then we do this. And then what? Sure. What are these for? Oh, are these for that thing by the, uh, by the lake? Yes, I think these are for this. All right, I am terrible at these. And we are playing for a really long time, so I am going to skip this. These things take time. Well, as soon as the skip recharges. And then I guess we get to go find the Book of Merlin for the writer cat and figure out if Santa does in fact have a drug problem. And this is what I'm doing with my life, apparently. Yeah, psh. I mean, oh, there we go. It's done. There it is. Apparently this is the Book of Merlin. 
You this just... is it! Now I'll become more famous than Shakespeare! The world will know my name! Oh, Santa Cat, that's right. I was the last one who saw him the night he disappeared. How do you know that? He asked me if I'd play Santa next Christmas. Can you imagine? A gifted writer such as myself Working on Christmas Eve? Ridiculous! Okay. Oh, we forgot to read this. Little Kitty. Out of the mouths of babes, this witness says that Santa was frustrated that too many kittens these days misbehave. Is this a statement to... Is this a statement to the downfall of cat youth culture? Or is Santa Cat just looking for excuses to hang up his stocking cap? Writer Cat. Santa Cat apparently made the big mistake of asking Writer Cat to pitch in and help him out on Christmas Eve. The writer, whose soft toe pads indicate he's never seen a day of hard work in his life, was appalled at the very notion. Okay, so that's the last cat, because that's the last page in the book. Now what? Um, this is where you tell me now what game. Oh, do I have to bring the whole book back to the detective cat? Yep. Okay. Hmm, thanks for bringing this to my attention. Oh, I see. Come with me. How come we're always doing the hard work for these detectives? Like, isn't that their job? Yeah, I I'm kind of impressed by that too. Oh, there he goes. Where's he going? Don't stare at me like that. It's creepy. This is it. We're getting close to solving Santa Cat's disappearance. We've got to break down the door. My senses tell me Santa Cat's inside. Call all the cats and show them my order. Don't forget the battering ram. What? What? <laughs> also, if you knew he was over here, why did you have me looking for them? Him. I won't need a key if I saw the lock. It's pitch dark in the hole. Oh, brother. Okay. Um, so... Oh good, we get to pick up all of the cats. This is very weird. Like it was already pretty weird. I I don't know where he thinks we're gonna get a battering ram. Does the mouse come too? Nope, just the cat. Okay. Xylophones and oh, I forgot about this cat. I knew I was missing one. Nope, wrong button. Okay. Wait, where am I? Don't don't you want the key cats? No. Okay. Um. Well, let me open this then. This must be the battering ram. You want to bet? Well, I actually don't know what it is, but that's what I call originality. Okay. Now what? No, stop that. I'm confused. 
I need two more snowflakes. He won't let me hand him people. And I have a flute. And the detail here is hard to see. Oh. There's box just taped to the side of that lamp and I couldn't see it apparently. What is that? Oh, it's a lantern. And a snowflake, which this must be where the other snowflake is. A lit torch could be more helpful. Okay. It kind of does look like a saw, which is not a... Oh, we're going to saw the tree over to make a battering ram. If I take down the tree, it might be... Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's what's going to happen. That is a giant tree. Well, what do you know? Santa Cat is sleeping. Every Christmas it's the same. All that build up all year, and the closer it gets to Christmas Eve, the less sleep I get. I'm too old for this, but not a single cat will take my place. The insomnia was awful, so I poached a bit of catnip. That was fun, but I didn't get any sleep, so <laughs> then I turned to Alchemist Cat, who gave me something so strong, he said, not even Rudolph Snows would wake me. Look, fellow cats, don't be sore at me. Apparently. <laughs> That so-called alchemist must have given him something, you think? I know that rascal. He's no alchemist. He's a smuggler. What? We've had our eye on for some time now. The last time he was in our custody, we administered a lightning bolt cure on him. <clears throat> but that was summer. What? You'll need to play very loud music this time. You're going to need an orchestra. During my last investigation, I confiscated instruments stolen from a marching band. But I've sealed them, pending trial. Let's go get them! This is ridiculous. On every level. I, I, I don't, I can't even. All right, so we get a triangle. And a xylophone. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a cramp in my side. And symbols. <laughs> And what's it? Oh, the guitar. And there was something out here, wasn't there? Yep, and the drum. Is that everything? I don't remember if that was everything. I think that's everything. Okay, so we have a try it. Wait, does it? Matter which person gets what? Okay. Nope, I guess I have to put them on the right. Do I? 
Toy Mac marches. Okay, you get a drum. Vegetarian Butcher thinks he's a folk singer. Why does that not surprise me? Kitten prefers a sweet melody. Sweet Tooth Cat likes dramatic music. And Writer Cat really likes to tinkle those keys. Oh no, what is this now? Info. Choose the order the cats should play. If you choose correctly, the cat will begin playing. If not, the cat will refuse to play and the game restarts. Aw, oh, really? Oh, okay, so I guess she's first. Write this down. Symbol cat is first. Or maybe not. No, never mind. I'm wrong. Nope. No, it's gotta be this guy. Xylophone. Okay, so xylophone is first. Xylophone. Nope, okay. Nope, okay. Nope, okay, it must be the triangle cat, because that makes sense. Yep, triangle cat. Alright, then guitar. Or not. Oh, do I have to do it before the song finishes? I like how they have to wait for the part to come in. Alright, so it must be drum. Triangle, guitar, drum. And then I guess the drum is next. Alright, I should have figured the symbol would be last, but. Alright, so xylophone, triangle, guitar, drum, flute, symbols. Guys are actually pretty good. <laughs> I think this is the theme song of the show, Amber. Or the game, rather. In the end, all turned out fine for cat kind. Santa Cat missed being the one to give the joy of Christmas to all, and he returned to his role as Maker of Christmas. Now, go to sleep, Tiny Tim, or our own Santa Claus will never come. And they lived happily ever after. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. <laughs> The moral is don't get OD on stuff on Christmas. That's the moral. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Um. So. So that was... The <laughs> Santa Cat's drug problem was never addressed. So that was A Christmas Carol, according to Elephant Games. And... Wasn't that a ride? <laughs> the Christmas Carol part was very strange and slightly off the rails, but boy, oh boy, those bonus chapters are amazing in these Christmas stories. So that was the second one. The third one is Hans Christian Andersen's uh, Tin Soldier. So that's the one we're going to do next. We still have some time till Christmas. I'm not sure how many we're going to get through, but... We're working on it. And I mean, we can do that or we could do more Haunted Hotel, but there's no more James. So I don't know. Aren't you sad James is gone? <laughs> and he's not dead either. <laughs> all right. All right. Silly goose. So. I guess I should go eat dinner. And if you haven't eaten dinner, you should go eat dinner too. Or breakfast or lunch or whatever it is you're listening to this. Food is important is what I'm saying. Yes. All right. I am Fate Touched and I will see you later. Bye.